Greetings again, this is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and I want to talk to you about another uh, wrong of what we think of as, as adult cases. You can't do them in a short time. This particular case we did in 11 months, and I thought it would take three years to, to do it. But the thing is, this lady had osteoporosis. And so you're going to run into all these problems doing adult orthodontics, and that's maybe one reason people don't want to get tangled up in them. But this lady really needed uh, this done. And so uh, she came in one year, and I looked at her, and her teeth were all that bad, and I gave her an estimate and all that, and she said she couldn't uh, do that, and so she waited and came back. Let's see, this is 1980, and here it is, 1985. She came back in, and I want to show you the difference in the teeth from 80, uh, how they came back. Now, we straightened her teeth out, you got her looking like she's more like that when we started and then she came back in 1985 and I want you to look at the teeth here let's uh, get a view now here they are in 1980 there's a class one is this a mild orthodontic case and you look here here it is in 85 I mean, you've got a class two, division two, that's really in the mess. And here in 1980, you looked at the teeth like this, and you think, well, this is a pretty simple case to do. And then in 1985, see, we took the records and we did nothing for five years. And this is this happened on this case. You, so what, happened here is a lady got osteoporosis so bad and the teeth just moved so easily and here it is 85 and the teeth are in bad shape this is 1980 and here is 85 look at where these uh, teeth were coming down like that and uh, if you go back and look at this they were not near that bad so during this time, these teeth changed that much on their own. We did nothing. She just uh, left and they, were, uh, they just really moved out of place completely bad. That's 1980, and here it is in 1985. They did this without any help at all. But the osteoporosis makes the teeth move very fast and I uh, was back in then I didn't really know how to, uh, to judge the speed that we'd be working on this lady and she had a bad lower anterior and we kind of doctored it up and got it to stay and we went ahead in 1985 and started doing her orthodontic work and there we is now this tooth right here had a, uh, a pocket in it. We had to clean that out and get it working better. And the, the curlers fee, we had to bring all this up and level this thing out. You can uh, look at this in a minute here. All right, when you look to the back of the model, this is 1980, the teeth were already up in here. Yeah, I don't know whether I've got 85. Okay, at 85, they were really up there, you see. So that they just deteriorated. And this is things you need to think about in doing adult orthodontics. The orthodontics was simple to do. I say simple. We put braces on. I had to keep doctoring this tooth right there to keep it clean it out and we put a step down arch in there to line the upper up 
And I thought it was going to take me uh, two or three years to straighten these teeth. And we worked on it, I think it was 11 months, we had this case finished. I mean, it was done. That was 1985, and there we are finishing a case up like that. And here, and here we got it. In other words, you can do some adult orthodontics quicker than you can do uh, young people because the teeth just move so easily and straighten that up. In 11 months, we had this lady straight. And uh, now she wears a retainer with a bite plate up here. And if she would leave this retainer out, I mean, she would wear it every night. And most of the time in the daytime, the teeth would move in a week's time. They would just get uh, out of shape. So she had to stay with the retainer. And this is something in adult orthodontics. But this poor lady needed something to uh, help her smile and everything. And that she needed this done. So there we are at 85. And there we are at 86. Uh, so this is uh, this is 85 to 86, uh, we had, a, I think it was 11 months that we worked on the lady. And she came back for several years and she had to uh, stay with the retainer. If he uh, left it out of any uh, length at all, the teeth would move. And this is an interesting thing about adult orthodontics. Why don't we teach? orthodontics and show everybody that's a dentist uh, what can be done with orthodontics, whether they want to do it or not, okay. And just don't encourage dentists to take on any hard, tough stuff, but see what can be done uh, with this. And as long as she wore that retainer, we could keep her teeth in that shape. And then you see this tooth is pretty well cleared up right now, and uh, that's better. So I think that's about the end of this case. Uh, that's that tooth that is straightened up, and uh, we have cleaned that out. I, I hope that I'm going to say goodbye at the end of this. This is enough on this case. If you want to go back, we've got video of the whole thing, but osteoporosis has a terrific effect on the teeth. And not only that, but on people's bones, they fall and they break their bones very easily. So watch out for osteoporosis. But if somebody has teeth that have collapsed that way, you can straighten them up and if they stay with the retainer the rest of their life, they'll stay. But if they don't, it will get even worse. And so I want to say goodbye and thank you for watching. I hope you'll join our group and subscribe to it. And I'll stop this here.